Guys, I've heard that Otong Java, I think it's how it's pronounced, a Polynesia, Polynesian 60 feet double canoe is somewhere around Rat Island. It's a traditional built vessel and I really want to check that out. So, fingers crossed. Well, it looks like Otong Java is there. I hope I'm not butchering the name. That is awesome. What an amazing boat. I can't believe this thing is here. Is that rat island? I sailed by a few times and couldn't see anyone aboard so there was a nice breeze coming and I decided to have some fun and just sail around for a while. Of course I didn't go too far from her, it's not every day one gets to sail with such an iconic backdrop. Here you can clearly see the difference in size between the two hulls, which are in fact two distinct canoes lashed together to form the multi-hull. And the gods were on my side. Hans eventually showed up and invited me aboard for a cup of coffee. Nice boat to build there. Uh, I watched yeah, you want to talk about that? <laughs> no, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> I never like, I don't like talking boats. I don't like to like nice boats. I did not interview Hans. We just spent quite a while chatting about all sorts of things instead. Can't imagine how cool it must be to cross the Atlantic on something like this. Yeah. Uh, they were built in the sand and all that. That's actually amazing, man. It's like driving a, it's like driving a bus. <laughs> 
put the sails up and you aim and you don't uh, do nothing and just tries. After a while he allowed me to roam around and film the boat. Where did you build it then? Uh, in, uh, in the Gambia. In Gambia? Yeah. It's next to Guinea Bissau. Yeah. That's amazing. We're seven times across the Atlantic. <laughs> backwards and forwards, backwards yeah. and forwards. Panama, three years. Do you mind if I go inside? Go inside, have a look. Thanks, man. It's your boat. Thank you. Plenty of time. <laughs> Han's approach to sailing is quite refreshing. He believes that one does need a fortune to build a boat or cross oceans, as he has proved. Most things on this boat are repurposed, recycled, re-engineered, you name it. He has done with a traditional boat what many haven't achieved after spending small fortunes on production boats. Just take a look at the mast. It's a repurposed telephone pole, which he bought in Portugal after breaking the last mast. And then our favorite tug master just turned up. They're very dangerous, these, because they glide so fast. Okay. You, you, the, the, the rope slams, you know, before it was slower. Yeah. Now it's too fast. Even for the crew it's dangerous because they get sucked in. Oh, yeah. Because they're stupid, they don't understand, yeah. and it's suddenly pop. Yeah. This, this, the main sail is uh, three sails. Three sails, cut, make one. <laughs> Stitch. Yeah. Four days of work. Yeah. Sure, I have a bag which is not very nice. I could make, but it's okay. It yeah. goes, doesn't it? Go with the trade winds anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but the building technique here is like the Egyptians. Same thing. Drift, drift pins. They put uh, uh, planks and they have a pin inside and put them yeah. together. So you knock, you knock them through, you know, from from here. 
Yeah. Into here, pins. Okay, yeah. yeah. To hold the planks together. No bits. Have you got any area there on the hole where I can see the conveyor thing? Yeah, cool. It must be there, yeah? Yeah. That's conveyor belt strips cut by knife and then nailed to the planks on the inside and outside. And there's some caulking done from the inside, not from the outside. Just amazing. Unfortunately, the tide was against us and we had to leave or we wouldn't reach the club in time. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Now that was a couple hours talking, just flew by. Amazing. Amazing stories, details, just awesome boat, awesome skipper. Hopefully this won't be the last time we see Hans and uh, Otong Java. And it wasn't, I saw them at Jaime's shipyard the next day. He's going to Volada, where we've been with the dinghies. You can see the video here somewhere. Um, I'm gonna check with him next week. Maybe I actually meet him up there in the freshwater. That's gonna be an interesting trip going up there. Until then, guys, stay safe. See you next week.